This is a Game Caviar production. All right, not happening in the Game Caviar Studios. Finally bringing you some Wii U gameplay. This is Zombie U, a game that I just started playing yesterday. This was a launch title game for the Wii U, and you have to kill zombies. In this video, I'm going to show you how to thoroughly kill a zombie, and also how to get killed by a group of zombies. Yes, they got to me at the end. The good thing about this game is that it is really spooky. Uh, I was playing it last night. Here it was uh, raining, thunderstorming, and it really added to the, the zombie feel. And you are... At least in the beginning of the game, you are truly alone. The only other person that is with you is a guy that helps you out. and You don't see him, but he does talk to you through a radio. And when he talks to you, it comes through your Wii U pad. Kind of like a two-way radio. I do like the way they incorporated the Wii U gamepad into this game. Because you can use it for things such as your inventory and you... Uh, you switch around your uh, weapons and whatnot, and you can tap on it to switch weapons. I have this 9mm pistol, and I also have a plank that I use, uh, similar to the one that's in uh, Zombie, uh, not Zombie Island, Dead Island, if any of you have played that game. As you can see, the game is really dark and gloomy. Uh, you have in a flashlight, and it does have a battery, uh, but the battery goes down, and when it gets, you know, of course, when it gets to zero, it's going to go out. So you have to let it charge up for a little while. It charges up very quick, which is good. A lot of this game is very dark. I kept the, the flashlight on for the most part in this video because I didn't want you guys to just see a, a, a dark video. And um, I'm in a, I'm in a, uh, what is it? I'm in a mission right now where I'm in a supermarket and I have to come out here and, uh, uh, what is it hack these CCTV boxes so I can get a map of the area and What happens when I see a box that needs to be hacked? I use my Wii U gamepad to scan it and you actually have to lift the gamepad up and you have to turn and move around and You target the box and you press hack the guy hacks it remotely and then you can get an area a map area Without that, then you won't have a map, and it'll just be, you, you won't know where you're going. Or you won't know if there's a room there, whether the door's open or closed. You can have, you have a radar, and you can ping to see what zomb where the zombies are. But as far as knowing which corridor leads to where, and which room leads to another room, you won't know unless you hack the CCTV boxes. Uh, I think I'm about to do one. It's one down here, I do know that. And uh, you can see how it, the whole thing goes along. I thought I was going to be able to save my game right there in that mattress. Because you have a safe house. And the, the only place that I found to save your game is in that safe house. And when you go to bed, I don't know whether I'm going to like or dislike that. I think this whole game plays on who can stay alive the longest. Which is cool. Because that's just a general theme when dealing with zombies. Uh, the guy, yeah, you can, you can hear him, but when I'm playing the game, his voice comes through the Wii U pad clearly, and he tells me, he just got finished telling me that every time I hack a box, you get more of a map. You can also unlock, uh, shortcuts to your, uh, safe house, and what that does is that when you go there, let's say things are getting hectic and you need to retreat back to your safe house. You just go to that. In this case, it was a manhole. You go down the manhole and you'll be in your safe house and you basically have to restart the mission from there. Um, that's that's something that'll help you out a little bit. Like I said, the whole theme is to stay. who can stay alive the longest. When you die in this game, you actually come back as a different character. As you progress through the game, the doing, redoing the mission that you just that you failed the first time, the last player that you used, you actually have to fight against. So you'll be fighting a group of random zombies, and then one of them will have a label, and it'll have that character's name and what their points were, and that will be the last the last character that you use. So not only do you have to fight a bunch of random zombies, but you also have to fight basically yourself. And from a previous life, kinda. It's pretty cool. 
uh, it happened to me a bunch of times. Uh, actually, it happened to me twice, and not a bunch of times. I ended up getting killed here. I came back as another guy, or actually a girl, and I ended up getting killed again. And on the third try, I saw it. I said, oh, that's pretty cool that you actually see the person that you played before. But anyway, if you have this game, let's discuss it. Uh, I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios. I'm going to keep playing this game because I like it. And I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.